The liver inside this cooler is a precious commodity. According to recent transplant data, only about 30% of Americans who need an organ transplant get one. So tissue engineers at the University of Missouri, Columbia are making from scratch just the replacement parts people need. To do that, they're using a special printer and what they call biopaper and bioink. The ink contains cells, living material. The paper is a biocompatible gel that the cells like, and they are deposited into this biopaper by means of a printer. As Gabor Forgotch reported in Physical Review Letters, the printer deposits droplets of bioink that each contain clusters of as many as 40,000 cells. Layer by layer, it builds up sheets of tissues and even tubes, the basic shape of blood vessels which nourish our organs. If we can combine those two, then we will have a structure which is uh, going to survive because it will get the nutrients from the blood vessel. But MIT tissue engineer Linda Griffith says for now the cell clusters are too big to build the intricate replacement parts people need. If our organ is built up of little teeny tiny things that are this big and we need to organize them, it's very hard to do it with something that can only fabricate over a distance that's this big. And while the researchers agree it will be years before this basic research moves to the operating room, they hope it will one day simplify organ repairs. I'm Brad Closa.